And the elder said, As we walked in the garden alone, this woman came in with two maids, and shut the garden doors, and sent the, ma sent the maids away. Then a young man, who there was hid, came unto her, and lay with her. Then we that stood in a corner of the garden, seeing this wickedness, ran unto them. And when we saw them together, the men we could not hold, for he was stronger than us, and opened the door and leaped out. But having taken this woman, we asked who the young man was, but she would not tell us. These things do we testify. This is very interesting how it connects with the end times. As I was saying, these two men, these two elders would represent the beast and the false prophet. Yahuakim as Messiah and connected with the second coming because of the name as I explained earlier and What is interesting is that well many things but one of them that the Almighty said that the son of man would appear as a thief in the night One of the reasons is because people won't realize that the second coming is happening right in front of their eyes only the chosen few which are his body so therefore only he himself knows what he's doing I repeat, because the chosen few who will recognize him are his body, so it's only one. So for the world, he's coming like a thief in the night. They won't realize it. And one other reason why it says thief in the night is because they will see the Son of Man as evil, just like they also claim Mashiach to be, and he never sinned, yet they claim that he was doing everything, all the miracles through the spirit of Beelzebub, the Lord of Flies, so they say he was that he had a demon etc so with the second coming will be even well the things that will be said since it will be worldwide and a bunch of other things because of the way since the yahushua came to bring mercy and the last is bringing judgment the first came as a lamb and the last as a lion is not going to be as pleasant for people so since mashiach came with the mercy and they did what they did and said what they said regarding him then with the last will happen for sure and we have no idea how bad um he may get regarding how they will refer to him or what they would think regarding him one of the things is that they will claim that he's a false prophet that he's a false messiah and that he's trying to destroy the true doctrine that he's trying to destroy the true messiah as if the story here regarding Shoshana were true. What I mean is that they are claiming that she is being unfaithful with somebody who nobody was able to see or know who he was. So they are claiming she is unfaithful with somebody that is in their imagination while she is being really faithful with her husband which represents Messiah. So my point is the chosen few will be faithful to the true doctrine of Mashiach by following the two witnesses of which one is the prophet like Moshe who comes from Yosef therefore represents the second manifestation of Yahweh on this earth but that is the one whom the world will see as a false prophet a false Messiah. So they will claim that those group those people who will be the chosen few are being unfaithful to the Bible and unfaithful to the true Messiah and all of those things that they will say. Just like here, they're saying that Shoshana was being unfaithful to her husband. But it was a complete lie that the two elders, like the beast and the false prophet, will make so that the world see them as crazy and bad and other things. Hope that is being understood. So just like they said that a young man was laying with her, committing adultery, but then fled like a thief in the night. They didn't say thief in the night, but the fact that they couldn't see his face and all of those the things that they said is as if she was unfaithful with somebody that no, was, no one was able to see, yet she was never unfaithful. Just like the chosen few who are faithful to the true Messiah through the true doctrine, which as Yahweh prophesied would be taught by the two witnesses in Revelation 11. So 